Time to talk about the new Nest Audio. About before we dive into the sound, let's talk about the new look and you know how it all plays out. So Google takes that fabric wrap look that they had on a lot of their speakers and just kind of leaned into it with this guy. It engulfs it completely except for the bottom where you have a rubber uh, grip for the foot, the fabric, the enclosure, the housing, the foot, and other smaller parts are made from 70% recycled plastic. The new look is better to fit anywhere in your home. Standing at 6.9 inches tall and only weighing 2.6 pounds. You know, navigating the Nest Audio, you have three designated areas of top. This gives you play pause in the center, volume up on the right side, volume down on the left side. And then on the back, you got the mic, the mic switch so you can mute voice commands or listening, however, whichever way you want to view it. And then, um, you know, then underneath it all, you still have their now signature uh, fork four LEDs that you know show off when it's listening and processing to your commands and different things. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, now for the more important part, the sound. They've upgraded the internals to give it bigger and better sound as you would expect they do. You have a 75 millimeter mid woofer along with a 19 millimeter tweeter. And that, make, that gives you 50% more bass and 75% louder than older home that just had one single 50 millimeter driver. Uh, this easily exceeded my expectations in the sound department. You know, I expected it to be good. I was like, okay, it's actually a little bit better than I thought. You get a good amount of bass, you get really loud. And like other Google Audio products, it can be grouped with, you know, Nest Mini, Nest Hub Max, or even your TV with the Chromecast uh, to give you, a, uh, you know, a unified sound throughout your house, kind of like how Sonos has their system, Google quietly has their own. We talk, you listen. So let's hear how this sounds and then put it up against, you know, the rest of the Google speaker lineup. It's powered by a quad-core A53 chipset and a high-performance uh, hardware engine to handle all your processing and such. Uh, it does a good job in processing and executing. I wish I, I wish it was a little bit faster. So it has three far-field mics to help hear your commands over music and stuff. I'm not gonna say the hot word, activate different things. Of course, you'll have some instances, instances where that will happen, but for the most case, it did a pretty good job. And then last but not least, all the, the internals and the processors and everything can help adapt the sound in two different ways to give you the kind of the best experience possible. So one of them is MIDI EQ that automatically tunes the content, uh, whether it's the music, uh, podcasts, or audiobooks. It's more so adapting what it's putting out so it could give you the best sound. And then the other thing is ambient IQ, which adapts to the background noise, make sure you can be heard, and then that you can hear the Google Assistant. So it's easy to say, Nest Audio, great smart speaker for an even better price. Small enough to put in several locations in your home, great output for its size, and all doing so without breaking a wallet to get one or even two. Now, I'm not sure that this Nest Audio will convince the hardcore Alexa users to jump ship, or maybe it will, but whatever the case, I'm loving this guy, and I may pick up a second one to enjoy that 
sweet sound in stereo. So we'll have an affiliate link for this in the description below. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Could be anywhere in the world you're here with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have yet to do so. And see you in the next video. Peace.